Daily energy expenditure represents the amount of energy your body expends in one day. It's broken up into resting metabolism, which accounts for 70% of your daily energy requirements. Thermogenesis, which is the digestion of food, accounts for 15%. And physical activity, which includes exercise and general movements, accounts for 15%. A common measure of energy usage is the MET. This stands for metabolic equivalent. Various activities have different metabolic costs associated to them when compared to the amount of energy consumed by a person at rest. So sitting watching TV is equal to one MET, whereas skipping carries a value of 10 METs. As a trainer, people will often ask you about fat loss. When explaining fat loss to a client, it's important to ensure they maximise their movement. This can include standing rather than sitting, walking rather than driving, and taking the stairs rather than the escalator or the lift. There are literally hundreds of metabolic opportunities available to us every day that we often ignore due to developments in convenience and technology. The metabolism between training sessions can be elevated if the training session is hard enough. When you perform strength training, your muscles get damaged and need to recover. This generally takes between two and three days. In this period, as the body is recovering, it's working harder to repair the muscle and refuel the body. As a result of this repair phase, the metabolic rate can be lifted for an extended period of time between bouts of training. This ensures you burn more fat for more hours of the day.